Hello, everyone. This is Coach Sandra with another episode of Journey to Authentic Living video, and thank you for tuning in. Today, I would like to answer actually a question from a client in Italy. So this is for Claudia. Claudia uh, and I have known each other for a very long time, and she had been curious to know about some of the contemplative tools that I use. Um, she knows I'm I'm very uh, particular about what what I embrace in my life and so forth. And so this video is really uh, for all of you. I thought I would go ahead and just share with all of you, but it is inspired uh, by Claudia. Okay. So some of you may know this about me is that I'm someone who. Uh, loves to contemplate quite a bit. I really go within and I spend a lot of time in the morning in, in contemplation and I don't really use uh, too many tools. Um, I find that sort of going within and I don't know, maybe some of you might consider it meditation or so forth uh, would be one way or one tool. Uh, personally, I integrate uh, a wonderful oracle deck, and it's called the Wisdom Keepers. And I don't know if you guys can see this here, the Wisdom Keepers by Dr. Rosie Aronson. I know Dr. Rosie. She um, has been my creative coach uh, for many years now. She's the coach's coach. <laughs> so she's a great, uh, a great lady. And let me just tell you a little bit about uh, the genius behind this because that's that's dr rosie she is an inspirational artist she's an author uh she calls herself a blossoming guide and she's an ordained spiritual counselor um, she has a master's in expressive arts therapy and a doctorate in intuitive listening and the creative arts um, i contacted rosie uh, 2011 December. I, I'll never forget it because it was just such an important time. And um, then received a, a response from her uh, January of 2012. And I've been um, just so in love with her work. And she uh, actually... I went to her because of a system called human design and I chose her sort of as a facilitator of the system. You can always look it up. This is not a video about human design. And then after working with her for a couple of years, uh, into a couple of years, um, she had, um, turned me on actually or encouraged me invited me to look up what's called the gene keys um and this is what's inspired by the gene keys i hope i got this right rosie you can always let me know but um just a wonderful uh card set um this isn't about i mean i'm sure that you can use uh, these oracle cards in in the way that your intuition feels called to use them but what I love about the Oracle cards, it doesn't have to be woo-woo. You know, you don't have to be so esoteric. Um, you can be somebody who even practices a religion, um, and it wouldn't go against, in my opinion at least, um, go against anything because they really are, um, these 64 faces are, let me show you a little bit. Um, these designs oh I just dropped that these they're called 64 faces and she uh, created all of these she drew them I have these in black and white but they also come in color and and so when you look at one of these faces and in person they're just fabulous but when you look at one of these faces you know they're they're a tool to just contemplate about what this means for example this is altruism and it has a number and it's 27 and so you would go into her book um which she has which i just dropped so hold on just a minute let me pause this okay and so this is the little booklet okay that she um that's accompanied with the cards and so you would look up and just in each card has such wisdom for you um, something more to contemplate on um, I'm not a big Oracle person to be honest with you I do have um, some that I've collected through the years but 
never really quite resonated with me because I'm a big questions person, as all of you know. So what I love about Rosie's work is that she asks the question, right? After each card, it says questions for contemplation. So for example, with this particular card, if I were to pick it, um, the contemplation questions would be, for example, do you have difficulty trusting people? Do you keep them at arm's length, right? What old relationships are interfering most with your new ones? So she has closed-ended questions and open-ended questions, right, for you to kind of mull over. And that's what I love about um, the 64 faces. Um, hopefully soon I can, uh, you know, make space and time, and I know she's really busy as well, uh, to be able to come on to Journey to Authentic Living and get into a really nice little interview so we can definitely discuss this beautiful set. So Claudia, I hope that I have answered your question. Um, I find this very this tool very useful. Um, and that's really just about it. I just use my body as an instrument and my intuition uh, for other contemplation tools. Um, I really don't follow a guru or anybody like that. I just, I, I have some teachers out there that I love. I have some teachings. I'll reserve that for another video. Um, but for now, please do check out the 64 Faces. I will have Rosie's information um, in this YouTube channel so you can check her out. And in the meantime, please do subscribe to uh, my YouTube channel and please pass uh, on the information about what we're doing here at Journey to Authentic Living. Okay. I'm wishing you all a great um, journey. Looking forward to it. Grazie Claudia. Ciao. Ci sentiamo. Bye everyone.